What's up, grass growing family? I want to tell you this is what we do on Sundays. Huh? Huh? What's up? What are you doing? Over here? Gotta make sure. I don't even know where you're at. Right here. Oh. Gotta <laughs> make sure everything's clean. That way it'll uh, cut a lot better. Oh, uh, yeah? Yeah. I got like a lot of it, but I think I'm gonna use some of my super clean. Oh, you're super clean? Yeah. Yep. So that is what we do use. We use this cool thing right here that props up the, the, yeah, it's just the mower. Basic car ramps. I need to get one of those um, right here. Jacks. And then we have our super clean. There we go. Yeah, I need some of that. Get this stuff off. Takes away all that grime and gunk. Yeah, this stuff does really good though. It breaks it up. What I do is just let it sit on there for a while. Let it break all the stuff up. Oh, yeah. You want me to show you underneath there? Yes. All right, so this is what I got so far. And I'm just trying to get, I don't know how much you guys can see, but just trying to get a lot of this stuff off of here because we have been cutting some grass. Thank you very Cheyenne's much. coming over. All cleaned up. sure I get the tires and underneath and everything and uh, that's pretty much it but I do need a jack to lift it up more you know what I'm saying that way I can get all the way underneath here um, just trying to get this stuff oh you record yes I'm recording yeah just pretty much trying to get this all uh, looking good and I think we need a more powerful uh, pressure washer. Yeah, I think so too. And, I mean, it does good to be electric, but it's only 1750 psi, so it's going to be a little bit stronger. Be careful, I'm going to spray this. Go ahead. So we got the bobcat going. You see the grass growing. Look at the grass growing. Look at that grass growing. So we got bobcat. Get rid of the dirtiness out of that one. Yep. And I got my flowers growing, y'all. Look at that. Now, how are you going to dry it up? I'm 
not. I'm just going to leave it out. <laughs> Best way to dry it up is drive it around. Be careful of my fresh grass, my new grass. Cut the uh, backyard. So what? Before you clean that, you want to cut the backyard? Today? Yeah. Right now. Today. Or can I cut it? Oh, I don't care. So what? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna walk around and see what's in the ground. So what you want to do is before you start, you want to check and see how tall you're cutting, and it's just set at four at the last lawn that we did. So I'm gonna put it about three and a half three and a half it might cut too much but okay. all right and then you just put it down so then you lift this lever back okay. Okay. Yeah. now you're set okay now when you start the blade you want to start it no more than halfway okay okay, okay. so then cut okay. okay oh wait 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 i'm gonna adjust these handles for you before we get started Just the handles to see if that makes a difference. Yeah, guys, I'm trying it out. <laughs> All right, okay. we'll be back. All right, so we're back. Uh, in order to change this, just in case you got a bobcat, it's a 13 millimeter, okay, cobalt. So that's my, actually my first time loosening these, and they are tight. So those are tight. I think I'm gonna need a something different for that okay I'll be back gotta get a wrench I need a 13 
good. Get the hang of it. Whoa. Get out the hole. Hey, make sure you watch out. Make sure you watch out for that hole. Stay away from it, okay? Yeah. <laughs> 
Oh, that, now she thinks she a pro. All right, let's see this. Better? to get used to because the, the skag is real smooth this one's kind of jerky the hydraulics are hey you got it make sure you lean up against it yeah okay there you go Professional, I'm a professional bobcat. Professional bobcat driver. 
All right, well, we're about to finish this up, do a little bit of maintenance, but uh, this is how we do. You know, you have to make sure that you're prepared every single week. So we make sure we start up the mowers, check the blade. That's another reason that I love the 36 because the 36 can fit in so many different areas. I mean, it's awesome. So like I said, we're gonna do the maintenance, check the blades, clean underneath the mowers, gas up the trimmers, everything, and uh, kind of go from there. But uh, she's good. Getting it done. All right, we'll be back. All right, she's about to try the skag out. She did it on the bobcat, and let's see how the skag goes. All right, now the controls are a little bit different, okay? So it's that key, and then, okay. And that's what I usually do, okay? And then you probably want to start up like that, okay? Now this is the brake, this is the brake right here. We're not gonna cut the blade, turn the blades on, but we're not cutting. Right? Huh? Okay. Alright, so you wanna take a couple of loops around first? Okay. So turn about right here. And then once you're ready, this is the brake. Yeah, I would go backwards first. So you go forward, push it down. Now be careful because it might go, okay? Two, 61 inch. What is going on today? She's riding it. <laughs> A little drunk, but you know, she's still getting it. Yeah, she's doing real good though. Um, I gotta give her credit because, um, you know, if there's ever something that she doesn't know or doesn't know how to do, she doesn't run from it. She tries to master it. Let me figure out what she's trying to do on here. Ooh, look at that. Dang. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that cola. I said, look at that cola. You gotta watch out for that water pipe, okay? Uh, so, three and a half. I think it'll be good. Or you can do it like that. You want? Okay, just take your time, okay? Yeah. Alright, always start it at half throttle or below, okay? Okay, it's about to kick on, okay? You will hear it.
actually doing pretty good. I gotta work on the uh, turns, like right here. Say she leaves that one wheel. Okay. It's like a safety feature. So say you're cutting and you got to jump off or something, it's going to shut the mower down, okay? That's pretty nifty. So what do you think between okay. the skag and the... So the skag does cut. It does cut a lot better. It's um, smooth, smoother. smoother. It's not as... Jerky. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But the I like the bobcat because it's smaller. Ah, uh, like, this is just too big. Too yeah, big. this is big. Okay. And I feel like I'm going to knock down like rocks or knock down a fence the biggest thing that i can recommend is that you just watch whenever you have like a bump or a dip yeah it'll it'll lean this way and it'll scalp yeah that's the main thing you don't have to worry about that with smaller ones so yeah but i this i do like the skag mm -hmm. but i I, if I was going to choose... You prefer the Bobcat? Yeah, because it's small. Okay. So what about a smaller Skag? That would be wonderful. I think we got the green light to buy another mower. No. <laughs> Not just yet. <laughs> okay. All right. But this well, is pretty cool. All right. Well, I'm proud of you. You got it done. I'm proud of myself. Yeah. 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 All right. Well, this is Chris. And Sarah. On the grass grind. This is how we doing it on Sunday.